How's it going everyone? It's me Lone back with another Fallout 76 video and I think this video might be a bit shorter than normal only because as you can see behind me none of my setup is here or my merch has been taken down and that's because tomorrow my wife and I are settling on a brand new apartment. We are going to be homeowners. Yay. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this for so long. And I might not show the excitement because I'm very tired right now because I've been taking down stuff and packing boxes all day. But I'm actually going to have finally my own proper office. Here it's been like a little study nook that I've been for three or four years and I can literally see my kitchen and, and like the TV room from here. And it gets a little bit loud. It gets a little bit noisy. It's going to be nice to have my own area to be able to set up, set up and make my own. So I am very excited. But because of that, because we're taking everything and moving, there might be a delay in uploads after this video goes live. So I do apologize for that. But I'm trying to make a video tonight, even though I'm very tired, to, to ensure that there is content on the channel. So if you like this video, please like it. I would really appreciate it. Comment below if you have any uh, things to say or any questions to ask. But today's video is going to be about Season 2. So we've made a video about my build, we've made a video about legendary perk cards and I think a good next step is talking about Season 2 because there are a great number of rewards in Season 2 of Fallout 76 called Armor Ace and in today's video I want to cover some of the ones that you should really be looking out for and I think justify that you know most players should be completing Season 2 of Fallout 76 because it's really going to help you just in terms of everything with the game and we're not talking about skins and we're not talking about the camp items in this video in particular we're talking about the utility items like the stuff that's actually going to help you in combat in crafting whatever it might be and also in particular which i think is like the top reason in my opinion for completing the season it's going to help you with legendary perk cards immensely so i'm going to cover all of the rewards which i think are really good in a utility sense in the game and then I'll, I'll focus on those particular rewards that are really good for legendary perk cards so with all that out of the way let's get to the rewards in season 2 of Fallout 76 called armor race Alrighty, so we're here on the Armour Ace scoreboard and again, I'll be going through those rewards that I highlighted before. We're actually not going to be going through the entirety of this scoreboard, only when it's necessary because most of the rewards that I'll be talking about today are the ones that actually come up numerous times. I think those, again, in terms of a utility and combat sense, justify you completing season two in and of themselves like they're incredible rewards especially because they pop up again and again so let's cover them and i have them here firstly i want to mention the weight bench it, it is a great reward um because it provides that boost of strength obviously when the functionality is added back in especially for you melee players or anyone that wants a boost to carry weight the weight bench i think is a great little item for your camp uh, moving on to the to the next set Lunch boxes, I will touch on these more in a second, but lunch boxes have just gone up in importance so much because of legendary perk cards, because they're helping you level up faster to be able to get more perk cards to scrap and in order to get more perk coins. It's a bit of a mouthful, but they're helping you immensely to be able to rank up all of your legendary perk cards. So do not sleep on lunch boxes. And I will say as a another PSA, please like indicate to people when you're going to be um, opening a lunchbox like if you go to an event just do the little little emoji thing just to say hey i'm about to open a lunchbox because that's going to gather everyone together and ensure that they all get it but you're going to realize more often than not that it's going to prompt other people to open a lunchbox because remember they stack up to 100 percent so that is like the way that i get so much experience in the game is just by going to an event indicating, hey, I'm going to open a lunchbox. Let's say no one opens one. Who cares? You've just boosted it for yourself and everyone else. But even if just one other person uses a lunchbox on you, you've literally just gotten a free lunchbox for, for an hour. That is awesome. And then you're getting 50% more. And then, then if a third person does it, including yourself, of course, that's 75. And then a fourth is 100. So try and do that when you're at events. And also keep in mind that you can now buy lunchboxes from Foundation for trading gold bullion. So there's, and they're only like, you can get three a day and they're only 100 gold bullion. So if you've already purchased everything that you want, just buy these. I only buy lunchboxes nowadays with my gold bullion. They're incredibly useful. And so, yeah, you're going to be getting a lot of these throughout uh, Season 2 of Fallout 76. So lunchboxes are great. Uh, the vault Tech supply packages are also great because you're getting a bunch of useful junk. So don't sleep on those supply packages. Make sure that you scrap them and get the, the useful loot there. Um, the next is obviously Adams. If you want to purchase stuff from the Adams store, it's nice to get a little boost here. I'm going to... Uh, 
Caps are nice, but they're so freely flowing in the game, but it's always nice again to get another boost here. Um, I'm going to be skipping over this one because that's the most important one, I think, <laughs> as part of the rewards for, for Season 2. Script is obviously great. Uh, let's go down a little bit more. Gold Bullion is also great. Uh, more, 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 more. Where's the next one? The scrap kits are also really, really good as well. Like, I love just being able to quickly scrap all of my junk and not have to worry about it. Yeah, there are rays around it. Like, you can keep going back to your camp and scrapping all your junk and, and manage your, your carry weight that way. But sometimes I just like to go on long adventures, man, and I don't want to go back to my camp. So having a scrap kit there just to be able to pop and all my junk goes back to my, to my stash... That's awesome. So I absolutely love that. So, so far we have the weight bench, lunch boxes, supply packages, atoms, uh, script, gold bullion, scrap kits. There's another one here that I think is so useful and we're going to get to it. Where did they go? Uh, did I skip over them? I probably did. It is here. Look at this, man. You can get new key cards as part of Armor Race. This for me is so good because... Every time that I want to get, like, I don't hoard new cards. So every time that I want to um, do a nuke run, I usually have to prompt one from White Springs to be able to spawn it. And then it just takes a little bit of time to find the little thing and shoot it down and all that kind of stuff. You just, you just get five here. That, that's so cool. So another great, you know, uh, re uh, reward from season two, especially if you're doing a lot of nuke runs, if you're trying to get like all the rewards from the Colossal Problem event, or you're still doing Scorch Beast Queen runs, getting free nuke cards is awesome, right? So I really like that. And then the last one here is, is the repair kits. So I've only gone down here and I've already mentioned all the rewards that I think are super, super useful for season two. The rest of them are like, again, cool camp items, skins, you know, all that kind of stuff. But you'll notice that all the items that I mentioned before, like Adams and Gold Bullion and um, all that other stuff, they keep popping up. Lunch boxes, uh, script, they'll pop up again and again and again. Um, is that another scrap kit? So you get even more of them as well as, as you go along. So there's, there's such a big incentive for you to keep getting towards the end because now look at like, for instance, uh, lunch boxes here. You get nine lunch boxes at this point. Uh, you get... You get 100 gold bullion at this point, which is another three lunch boxes if you want to spend it on that. You get um, 150 atoms here, but six lunch boxes at this point. So it, for, for most of those items, I keep increasing. So you do want to get to the end of it. But now let me talk about I th what I think is the most important reward for Armor A Season 2. And those are, we'll go back here, um, and that's why I skipped over it, the per card packs. These are literally in my opinion, the most important reward because remember with every per card pack that you open in the game, whether it's by leveling up or by obtaining them on the season two R scoreboard, you're getting four per cards. And now with legendary per cards, remember that you need to be able to, you need to be scrapping them to get per coins. You get two per coins for every per card that you scrap, right? Now, with armor race you actually you actually have a use now for the per cards that you, you you collect so with the previous season like there wasn't that you know huge importance because you didn't have legendary per cards to kind of back that reason up but now if you get a per card here and, and a per card there's another one down here right and then you keep going across all the way and then you start to get two per card packs and then you start to get the last one you get three per card pack so think about it three times four is 12 each one of those gives you one per coin that's 24 per coins with this one reward you've almost halfway ranked up a single per legendary per card and remember as well that as part of and, and and i'll show you them as part of, i'm gonna have to go into the game doesn't matter as part of the challenges for season two Every day you have the level up challenge, right? So if you if you kind of push yourself to do that level up challenge, to you know, not only by leveling up normally are you getting the per card, right? If you select a per card, of course, and then every five levels you're getting a per card pack on your own. So that's an additional four per cards there. But as you keep getting doing those challenges, as you keep leveling up with that repeatable challenge to get XP, you're getting more per cards. And per card packs through the season so literally if you are focused on 
ranking up all of your legendary perk cards, you must finish season two. It, it is literally one of the most important things that you'll do. Look how often you are getting a perk card pack. There, 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 as I mentioned. Like, there's so many of them. There's, there's another one there. Still one at this stage, but soon they start to increase to, to two. There, that's where they increase to two. And then you'll go to another another two there. So remember, two times four, eight, 16 per coins. Awesome. And then you'll eventually get the one that's three here. So you really want to be doing this. Like I'm making this video as a PSA to make sure no one misses out on all the per card packs that you can get from this. And again, by a natural process of leveling up, you're going to get even more per card packs. They're all intertwined. All right. So please, please, please work towards this season, work towards leveling up, use your lunch boxes, level up once a day. If you can, of course, if you can't, that's that's natural. You know, part of the weekly challenges is also leveling up three times, I believe. So you're, you're getting even more per cards that way. You're getting even more per card packs every five levels. Please do it. All right. That's my that's my PSA. I'm, I'm done ranting. Let's get to the conclusion of this video. Right away, Sanders, that's all from me. Again, I'm sorry for the short video, but I'm moving, so I apologize. But I hope that you enjoyed this video nonetheless. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions that I can clarify. And until next time, this has been the Lone Vault Wanderer. Please take care of yourselves and would you kindly keep fighting the good fight.